In this video, we're going to take a very, very brief look at um, just some basic integration using our trig formulas. All right, the first thing you need to do is you need to um, memorize all of your integration for your trig formulas. All right, if you have your derivatives memorized, these should not be too bad to memorize. Okay, um, when you integrate cosine of x dx, all right, you get sine x plus c. All right, now this is because of what our derivatives are, okay? When I do d dx, I take the derivative of sine x, all right, well, what do I get? I get cosine, okay? So the integration is going to be just opposite of that, okay? If I integrate sine x dx, all right, I'm going to get negative cosine x plus c, all right? And there again, that is because my derivative my d dx of cosine x is equal to negative sine x. Okay, so each one of these are because of our derivative rules. Okay, when we integrate secant squared x dx, then we get tangent x plus c. When we integrate secant x tangent x dx, we get secant x plus c. When we integrate cosecant squared x dx, then we get negative cotangent x plus c. And when we integrate uh, cosecant x cotangent x dx, then we get negative cosecant x plus c. All right. Um, I do have another video that goes through and um, shows you how to memorize some of these. Um, like there's like a little easy chart on how to memorize it, and so um, you might want to try looking at that video as well. All right. But in this video, just nice little basic um, introduction to these. I'm going to walk through two examples. So nice, short, and sweet using some very beginning integration techniques. Okay, um, let's say for this first example here I'm going to integrate 2 sine x dx. Okay, we have a rule that says um, if there's constant in front of my function then I can pull it out in front. Okay, so that's the first thing that I'm going to do. I'm going to pull that 2 out in front and then integrate my sine x dx, all right, and we know that the integral of sine is negative cosine, all right, so once I integrate it, my integral sine goes away, and I will have negative, or 2, and then negative cosine x, and then plus c, because you don't want to forget the plus c, then you're going to want to clean that answer up a little bit and make it look maybe like negative 2 cosine x plus c. Okay, so some very, very simple integration with um, our beginning trig functions here. All right, here on the second example here, I've got two things being subtracted. I can integrate them separately. I could write them separately, or I can just understand that I'm that's a legal move. I can do that. I can integrate this one. I can integrate this one, and we're good to go. All right, so if I integrate this 4x, I'm going to use power rule. So there's a little 1 there, so I'll add 2 add 1, get a 2, all right, and then 4 divided by 2 is going to give me a 2, so I will have a 2x squared, okay? Now, the minus sign I'm going to keep for right now, when I integrate cosecant squared x, all right, if you have them memorized at this point, that one is a negative cotangent x, all right, and then plus c because I've done my integration, all right, and then, of course, you're going to want to clean that up a little bit, and then you'll have a 2x squared plus cotangent x plus c. All right, so just two real quick examples using some of those beginning um, trig formulas for our integration and uh, as well as some of those basic integration rules of pulling out the constant and then integrating individual terms. All right, so um, if you like the video, go ahead and give me a like on it and then um, be sure and watch the other video that, that gives you some memorization techniques for your trig um, integrals, and then be sure and share with your friends. Thanks.